Rapping like Stashi. Hello, my people. It is me again. I don't come. I'm here to bring you very nice, interesting nail techniques, which I'm sure a few of you know, but maybe some of them I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to share a few tips with you. I'm going to start with how to prep nails for any acrylic application. It's very important because this is what actually makes your nails last. A lot of people experience a lot of liftings. There's a reason for that. The major reason is wrong nail prepping. So I'm going to start with prepping. Now, my name is Safat. I am the, the MD CEO of Glitz by Safat. I have a brand called Glitz by Safat Gel Polish. So I'm here. This nails you see right here has not been prepped. And this is because I need you to see the procedure to prep your nails before any acrylic application. First things first, we need to see if we have to pull our cuticle. Cuticles are those dead flesh that is usually sitting, you know, at the end of your nail bed. And uh, what we want to do when we're prepping is to take out every oil, every dust, or residue sitting on the nails before we begin to put and enhancers. Enhancers are those things we use also before we put on acrylic. So I'm going to start by pushing the cuticle back. So you just need a cuticle pick pusher. It can be metal, plastic or wooden, whichever it is. So you push the cuticle back. For some people you don't have to. As you can see, our cuticles are well pushed back. You see, there's really not much to do. And as you can see also, she doesn't have any of the dead cells. So this is like one part of your job is already done because our nails are neat. I think you get a lot of manicure regularly. <laughs> okay, so same thing applies to here. We just push the, the cuticle back on all the fingers. Gently, you don't want to hurt your client, it's very important. Now that being done, I'm going to try to take off any oil residue on the nails. So I'm just going to use a buffer. Some people can use files like um, a medium file. You don't want to use something too hard because you don't want to file off the nail bed of your client and you don't want to use something too soft because you don't want to make it smooth. Acrylic application does not like too much of a smooth surface. Very important. So I'm just going to roughen the edges and at the same time take out the oil residue. Every human hand, every human nails have oil residues from the food we eat, from the proteins in our nails. It's just natural. Now, I must tell you, some people have more oil residues than others. So when dealing with your clients, you need to know after, you know, first or second visit to know if that client actually have a lot of oil residue because this is what will determine how the nails lift. So now this being done, I'm going to take this out with acetone and make sure I clean out everything. Make sure there's no dust. You use acetone because acetone definitely has no oil. So, also bear in mind that you make sure there's no lint from your cotton wool or whatever you're using to clean, clean the nails, no residue. Okay, so the next step now is I have prepared these nails and I'm going to now use the enhancers. We have two major enhancers for acrylic application. We have the dehydrator. This actually helps you to dry out the nails completely. And then we now have what we call the primer. If we're doing gel application, we have primer for that. If you're doing the acrylic application, you have the primer for that. So I'm going in with my dehydrator. If you look closely, Upon application right on the nail bed, just over, it dries it out immediately, completely. This also helps to take out all the oil. Make sure it covers everywhere because we're trying to make sure that these nails won't lift in at least till the next refill. And normally, depending on how people's nails grow, you can have your refill, refill in three to four weeks. That being done, I'm going to go in with my 
primer. Now, you don't want the primer coming anywhere close to the skin. So you make sure it goes just on the nails. And you know, the, the primer spreads itself. So avoid flooding the nails with primer. Well, make sure the primer goes over the whole nail, especially towards the cuticle area, because this is the place where you need more of the enhancement. You don't want the nails coming or lifting up. Be careful that it doesn't touch the skin, but it goes over the whole nails. Like I said, emphasis on the cuticle area, making sure you have a 100% assurance that this nail is not going to lift in the next 3-4 weeks, I mean until the next refill. Depending on the individual, like I said, some people have more protein, some have lesser protein. And this is what excretes the oil from the nails. So different wear for different people. But most of the time, when you prep your nails properly and you use your enhancers, you're sure to have a happy client. So we're going to go into sculpting. I'm sculpting the nails that I'm doing today. and. Um, I have this bridal inspiration, something for brides. You can wear it, I mean, anytime as well, but I mean, it's more suitable for brides, so I'll be right back. So I'm still here. I said earlier that I will be doing sculpting. Sculpting is a, process, a procedure where you don't have to use any false nails. You're going to use your acrylic powder or your gel or your builder gel, you know, to, you know, build onto the nail to whatever length you want so with that you're going to need a nail form nail forms comes numbered the numbers allow you know the length that you want to work with so nail forms they come numbered the numbers allow you to know the length that you're trying to achieve while working on your client it's very important that you place this properly otherwise it might make your work go wrong you know so Every nail technician knows this thing can be tricky sometimes. Um, the person I have on the seat actually have quite a wide finger, as you can see, and uh, a flesh is protruding, you know, so it's going to be a bit difficult to get the nail form to sit, but I have to try my best to make sure it sits well so that I can have a proper build up or sculptor. So it's sitting where I want it. I'm just going to press it down to make sure that it is firm and there will be no movement. So here we are, my form is sitting. Please note that um, anytime you're doing colored powder application, because I'll be working with pink powder, I'll be using a bit of chrome, I'll be using sequins. Before you do your application, if you're using a colored powder, always ensure to use a clear powder first, a pea-sized powder. And I'm going to start right from the cuticle area, making sure it's very flat, very flat. And I'm going to spread this. Now I'm going to use this whole powder for the full length that I'm trying to achieve, the full length. So I'm working with number four. I'm back I remember telling you at the beginning that I would always like to start any colored application any colored acrylic application with a very, a very thin layer of the clear powder first 
for strength so usually what I do when I'm doing my thin layer I put on my foam I apply the whole thin layer once it's dry I take out the foam because sometimes the foam actually gets in the way of the whole five fingers so once I take out the foam and then I can start building and then embellish and do whatever so now we're at the point where all the nails have been put in place and all the embellishments are over it so we're going to start filing now So we're done with the filing and then I'm going to go to the buffing. Now I need to make sure I buff the snails and make them very smooth because I'm going to use a gel top coat finish. It's going to give me this flawless, you know, shiny, all glossy finish. But of course I need that. Um, I buff it and make sure that the surface is smooth even though it's not like 100% smooth as against when you're using um, a polished top coat. But when you're just, when you're using a gel a gel polish top coat, you can use you can you can make it smooth, but not necessarily like fine finest finest smooth. But if you're using a regular top coat, a regular polish top coat, then it has to be completely flawless smoothness. Okay, so I'm going to buff in, and then we go in with our gel. I'm here to finish this nail. We're at the point where I'm just going to put the top coat. I'm using Glitz by Safa Job Polish. Nail tech is one of the biggest things happening now. There's a lot to be done. It's very creative. You must have a creative mind. So we are here. We're rendering service for training. You come, you can call me. You can, you know, send me a message on my, uh, or DM me on, on my um, Instagram page. You can also find me on Facebook at Glitz by Safar. You can reach me at my office which is right here in the heart of Ikeja um, situated, situated at number 12 Odunuga Street off Osho.